Welcome back to the big house, how to grow travertine tiles part three. So you can see now, last video I left, the this part was all white, or it was the white dust. Like it is, it's hard to see, but like it is here. And originally we'd gone to how this grout is, like this by here. And I'm just gonna give it a little wipe, because I can still see some water on this. There we go. So that's that bit done. And then all we can do now for this finer dust, I've got a very light amount of water on the on the sponge. And I think it's important to remind everybody that you really, although I did say any great sponge will do, um, you're better off with one of these great floats. It does make it a lot easier. And, or a great float, a great sponge float. And there's a slight abrasiveness about the sponge so it just sort of takes it off that little bit easier you could do it uh, with a normal sponge but it will make the job harder definitely and all we're going to do now is just clean this off now i'm going to come back to here it's important to sort of work it in segments really so you don't miss anything so i've just been doing a little section at a time i'm just going to come to here now it's nice and shiny at the moment I'm going to run my towel over it now. That's going to take all the dust that would have dried up on it away. And then once we get this bit buffed up then, you can see how there is drying to a, a duller colour again. And that's perfectly normal. But what we're going to do next, and not next, but that'll be in a day or two's time when the grout has all gone off. There we go is we're going to put a nice sealer on it which will enrich the colour and it'll make it look more like this rather than the dull sheen on that but I'll tip to on it now you can see now it looks really really good obviously that looks really really awful but like it was this one on the previous video I'm now waiting although it's quite dry on the surface I'm waiting for it to go off in the cracks. If I get in there now and start buffing it off straight away, it'll start washing the grout out of the cracks. So it's all about timing. I mean, I'm not saying I'm the quickest because I'm far from it. I'm more diligent and conscientious, I suppose, I would say. Um, so at the moment now, just this section to prep it, to grout it and to buff it. Although I've done this video in three stages, through to here, it's a couple of square meters, I don't know, eight, eight square meters perhaps it's actually taken me about four hours so uh i'm hoping i'm gonna get this bit obviously that's including this but i'm gonna get this bit cleaned up i'm gonna get through to the threshold later on buff it all up that'll be a day's work for me you know you could probably do it quicker if there's two or three of you and all the rest of it but um that's just how it is you know do it properly go around take your time i've cleaned all the um end panels at the same time got any remnants off that so take your time um work at it it's not physically it's quite hard you know it's not easy you've really got to apply um apply a bit of force into the the grout float when you first do it and the grout sponge afterwards so you know it is a little bit labor intensive but the results will speak for themselves so i'm really happy with that you can see now what we're looking to achieve that's the end goal i am going to put some um, sealer on it and probably going to leave it two days they'll probably say the grate will be dry within 24 hours but i'd rather leave it a little bit longer to be on the safe side and then we'll get it all sealed at the same time obviously tomorrow i'm going to move all that junk well the fridge is going to go in here because this bit will be done move all the um the rest of the junk out i can grate through that and then the following day we'll seal it all up don't really need to seal that little section i'll just go on and put the fridge in just because um it's never going to be seen. The only reason we've tiled it is to run it all through nice and smooth so that the, the fridge comes on wheels. So it'll allow it to wheel in and out if they ever have to get behind it for whatever reason. In my case, I've got a cat that brings mice in all the time. Every, it leaves them alive. So every other day, I've got to pull the fridge out and I guarantee to find the mouse hiding behind it. That's another story. So, um, yeah, so there we go. We're all coming along and... I'll come back and do a video of when it's all done and sealed now. Grape it all the way through and you can see the end result. 
One other thing I'll be doing is rather than putting skirting boards on here, I'm gonna put an upstand of a tile, maybe 100 mil, and run that around where the skirting board should go just to give it that really nice finish. Fab, once again, please do like, comment, share whatever it is you can do to make me you know, help get my videos going and um, I'll see you all soon. Fab, ciao for now.